If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Regular Expressions for Performance Engineers. In this video, we are going to see a couple more examples where you will be facing issues with respect to extraction. Assume that you have a set of numbers like this and you want to retrieve only the three digit numbers. So how do we retrieve the three digit numbers using the regex? By seeing the previous videos, you would have understand now. We can use slash D to identify any digit and we can mention the number of occurrences in the curly braces. Now this will identify the three digit numbers. But the problem here is, as you see, it is identifying the three digit number within the five digit number. We don't want this. We want to identify exactly three digit numbers. So that is why there is another syntax called boundary. If you type slash b, it's called boundary. And if you enclose your regex within the boundary, it will identify exactly three digit numbers. So actually it is bound to these boundaries and then it will be able to identify the exact number. If you want to go with the non-boundary, then you can flip this flag to capital B. It will uh, take the non-boundary values. So now you can see the difference between the identification. So if you use the small b, it will identify the exact three digit numbers. If you use the capital B, it will identify the inside the numbers. So that is the main difference. Now, next example is we are going to see how we can identify the numbers which we do not know the number of occurrences. For example, here we have a set of numbers in the decibel, but uh, after the decimal point, we do not know the number of uh, digits occur. So how do we identify this kind of uh, numbers by writing the regex? So first we can uh, write uh, zero and dot. And after that, we can uh, define the number. Since we do not know the number of occurrences, what we can do is we can identify the rest of the numbers by defining the range. So here, if you define one comma, so this will identify all the numbers with the decimal point. So here, the minimum number of occurrences is one. And if you enter just a comma, then it will go unlimited number of numbers. And also you can mention the range. So one to five means between one and five inclusion of two numbers, it will identify the digits. But if you do not know, you can just simply enter one and comma. So this will identify all the numbers after zero and decimal point. This will work for the string as well. So here we have random strings. So to identify the random string, what we can do is we can use the ignore case using the modifier question mark i. And inside the character set, I can mention uh, A to Z and 0 to 9. So now it will identify both the characters and the numbers. And here I can mention uh, in curly braces 1 and comma. So this will identify all the strings. It is also identifying uh, the numbers because we have the, uh, in the character set, we have the numbers as well. That is why it is identifying everything. So this is how you leverage different types of regex syntax to extract the numbers and strings. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.